we are focusing on Salangor and Penang. Um, we conducted a discovery, and the goal of this discovery was to understand the entire procurement process within each of those states, and including the political and, and economic context um, that, that plays into the procurement process. Um, we were also aiming to understand what the main challenges and barriers to entry within their digital procurement and e-procurement processes. And then identify areas for opportunity where GDS could provide support and strengthen their digital procurement process. Um, and GDS is focused on five pillars, as you can see in this diagram to the right. So their five pillars um, include assuring plans before money is spent, designing procurements and contracts, assuring service delivery, oops, um, building capacity, building capability and capacity, and then publishing open contracting data. So we were kind of focused on these five areas and how GDS might be able to kind of share some of the practices that have helped them in these areas um, within Selangor and Penang. So a kind of a, a timeline of, of what we've done so far and where we're going. Um, so GDMP initially met with um, Selangor and Penang in um, fall of last year to kind of gauge their interest and to identify stakeholders who would be interested in, in working on this. Um, and that, that went well and they were interested. And so um, we started this work um, early this year. So we started um, just kind of with desk research in January to, to understand you know, what is the, the publicly available information on their procurement policies, legislation, um, digital tools, and wh who the key players are within their procurement processes. Um, and then at the end of February and early March, we actually went to each of those states. So I was in Selangor with my colleague for two weeks conducting interviews, and my, my other colleagues were in Penang early March to conduct um, interviews there to, to fully understand, again, that, that full procurement process, what any possible uh, challenges were and opportunities for GDS to support. So we are, we're in this first um, report, first draft phase right now. So we're finalizing our first drafts of the report, <clears throat> which has been shared with, with GDS. And then eventually we'll move to um, kind of this remote validation. Originally it was supposed to be an in-person validation and um, we're kind of trying to as, as everyone is kind of be flexible on that and figure out how to kind of go back and kind of fine tune our findings and our recommendations and prioritize those recommendations. Um, and then turn that into a final report, um, which will be shared with GDS um, and GDS will kind of use that report and this workshop to identify specific recommendations that they'll, they will actually implement with um, each of the state governments to, to kind of support, give, provide that support for um, kind of unblocking those barriers. Oh, there we go. So in Selangor, the interviews we conducted, we were able to meet with the state treasury, state ICT members, um, state agencies, so public private agencies, uh, local city councils, um, and we met with you know, buyers for procurement, IT staff, uh, contract and legal teams, and as well as tender board members. We were also able to meet with two IT suppliers who have had experience contracting with the Selangor State Government to kind of get their perspective of the procurement process and, and um, what they see are challenges within um, or barriers to entry within uh, the procurement process and then um, a CS, CSO as well. Uh, in Penang, our team was able to meet with the Penang finance team, the IT team, Penang planning, Penang treasury, um, Serang Parai city council, as well as Penang Island city council, two state agencies and four CSOs through, through surveys that weren't able to meet them in person while they were there, as well as two IT suppliers. Okay, so our current status, like I mentioned, we are drafting our reports and our, our findings. Um, which are being reviewed by GDS. And then we are planning on sharing those with the state governments that we have been working with for their feedback and review. And then, like I said, our, our goal is to kind of re-meet with several of those stakeholders, as well as potentially include um, other stakeholders we weren't able to meet with while we were there to kind of 
verify the accuracy of what we found, make sure that, that we understood correctly, uh, prioritize those recommendations and kind of dive deeper into those and to see how those would actually be implemented if, if they were to, to be carried out. Um, like I said, we are, are looking into seeing how we can do at least part of that remotely, um, seeing if we can kind of extend our, our timelines and, and shift that to see if it's possible in, in the future to be able to do any of that in person, um, but trying, again, trying to be flexible. So this is kind of um, our, our status so far, and I'm happy to answer questions. And I know um, some of the uh, GDMP colleagues are, are on the call as well to, to answer any other questions from their perspective.